Hello, welcome to Qt database development example. In this episode, I'll show you how to download and install PostgreSQL database on Windows. Installing PostgreSQL is straightforward and easy. You can install Postgres like any other Windows application. Let's begin. Open your internet browser. Here I'm using Firefox. Go to PostgreSQL website which is www.postgresql.org I will put the link under the video I will not use the direct link I'll search for the website Here is the search result The first site is what we search for so I click it to go to the Postgres website. On the right side, you will find the download link. Click it to go to the download page. Postgres QL database management system (DBMS) is available in several source and binary formats. As we can see here, Postgres pre-built binary packages are available for number of different operating systems and even for a different distributions of one operating system like PSD we can see FreeBSD and OpenPSD Linux, Red Hat, Debian, SUSE and Ubuntu and so on we are looking for Windows version so go to the link of the Windows and click on it to open the Windows download page as you see, there are many download options for different download sites, formats, and Postgres versions. You can explore them all. Here I'll select the Windows installer from Enterprise DB. So I'll click on the link and I'll be directed to the Enterprise DB website. Now here we are in Enterprise DB website. From the drop down list, select Postgres QL version. The latest version, PostgreSQL 9.6, is shipped with BG Admin 4. Personally, I prefer to use BG Admin 3. So, I'm going to download PostgreSQL 9.5. If you would like to download PostgreSQL 9.6, it's okay. Go on. Now select your operating system version. There are two Windows versions, one for 32-bit and 64. I'll choose Windows X86-32. And at last, click on the download button and save the file. The file is being downloaded. I have downloaded the Postgres installer file before, so I will cancel download. Now I'm going to launch the Postgres installer. If your Windows asks to allow the Postgres installer to make changes to the computer, then press yes. It's okay. The installer will be launched. Now the installer is initializing setup process. Here we are at the welcome page. Press next to proceed. In this page, select the installation directory. Hit the folder icon to change. I will leave the default, then press next to proceed to the next page. In this page, select the directory where the data will be stored. Also, I leave the default, since this is a development environment. Now, enter the password for the database server user Postgres. 
then retype the password in the next field and hit next here you can change the port I leave the default then hit next and here select the local also I leave the default now we are going to install if you would like to change any option hit back if not hit next by hitting next the installer will begin the installation process and you will not be able to go back Here we go, and check this checkbox, since we don't need to install any tools at the moment, and of course hit finish. Now let's explore PG Admin 3. Now enter the password for the SOPA user postgres. It works fine. Now try to install postgres in your computer and tell us about your experience. In the next episode, I'll show you how to install Postgres on GNU Linux operating system. Thanks for watching.